Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is set actor location and rotation? So there's sometimes when you want to set the actor's location and the rotation at the same time, but the normal set actor location node and the set actor rotation node obviously aren't going to work because they only set one. Well, that's what this node is for. It's a combination of the two, but it's minus the scale that the transform has, which is useful if you don't need to worry about the transform, which most of the time you won't. This is simply a helper node. It's going to perform the same way as the set actor location or the set actor rotation node. It's just a combination. Because we are a location and a rotation node, we're going to take in a vector for the location and a rotator for the rotation. Let me go ahead and show you this in example. Let me split my location so that way I can plug in an X, Y, and a Z. We're going to go ahead and demo it. And it's pretty simple. Whatever I tell it to go to for the X, Y, and Z, so let's say 200 on the Y and 150 on the Z, 0 on the X, it's going to go to. Simple as that. Maybe I want to move it back the other way. That's perfectly fine. And right now I have just the location plugged in. If I was to plug in the rotation, it's going to take the rotation values as well. I can show you that here. Let's go ahead and split these. Let's plug in our pitch, roll, and yaw into our rotation. And we'll give it a little bit of a, whoops, rotation on the Z. We'll give it a um, 45 degree rotation on the Z. And you'll see it rotates, maybe we do 90. Keep in mind it's a setter. It says not adding. So it's going to set it to that rotation. Since it's a set actor, it's going to set it basically in the global position system or the world coordinate system. Let's go ahead and move this back to R and collapse. We're going to look at the options. Now we have sweep and we have teleport. Let's cover teleport first. It's pretty simple. Basically, if you have collision enabled on this object and you're moving it from one position to another using the setter, this will basically freeze the collision, move it, and then unfreeze the collision. And it's only useful if you have collision turned on, physics collision is enabled. And it's useful for things like, let's say you had a strand, you had a hair on a head. And it had, such as a ponytail. When you teleport that character from a one distance to another, maybe a great distance, or you rotate it dramatically, you may not wish the physics to see, oh, I've moved a thousand units, I better react violently for my physics. Just make sure you teleport if you're using something over a long distance and you have physics enabled, and it's going to take care of any really weird, dramatic physics changes. Now, sweeping is slightly different in this node because it is an actor node. We turn on sweeping, which enables collision and overlapping, and we hit play, and then we move this over to my wall, let's say 400. Well, you're going to notice it's partially in the wall. 350 is partially in the wall. It's not being stopped like we expect it to. Well, it's pretty simple. This actor that I'm creating, we're going to go ahead and go look at our utility transform boxes. We're going to go look at the actor root. It does not have any collision. Our actor root has no collision enabled on it. The actor nodes for transformation, the location and the rotation node for sweeping only is affected by the root collision. Let me show you that. We saw it didn't work with the boxes. Let me replace this with the transform box. Now the transform box is different in that it is only a box object for the mesh and it is a box collider for the root. We have a cube collision here with collision. Block all in the world. We'll run this one. We'll do the same thing. 150 on the Z and we'll move the Y over 350. And you notice, well, it's not going through. We'll move it to 400. Same thing, not going through. It's going to be blocked because it's going to do a movement from the original point. Let's go back to zero to the new point, 500. And once it hits this point, it's going to have a collision hit because we have a collision collider and it's going to stop. So if you are using the sweep option and you have an actor, make sure you have collision enabled on your route or you're not going to have it collide. That's how the actors work. 
Outputs are pretty simple. Return value only works if we have a rotation successfully set or not. And the sweep hit only re works properly if we have a sweep. So if we're sweeping, we'll get a hit result. It's a normal breaking of our hit result to get our results. And we get our normal results like a hit result. And you can see the hit result video for information on that. And that's it. That's going to wrap up our set actor location and rotation node. It's basically a helper node. It sets the actor's location and rotation using one node rather than two of them if you use the set actor location as well as the set actor rotation node.